What's up everyone, it's your boy Raw Clever. This is my 11th video. Um, today is September 11th. Um, it was 12 years ago now, the attacks on the World Trade Center happened. Um, I think I'm just going to share my little story. It's a very small story, but nothing made it's my little small story. Um, that morning I was... Um, I went to my job for something. I can't remember what I went to my job for. I worked at Applebee's at the time. And I went to my job to either pick up a paycheck or drop something off. I don't know why I went to my job at at like 8 in the morning. So I get to my job and there's like, you know, everybody's like there, everybody's fine, everybody's, you know, chilling. And then we're all like watching TV and it's just like, you're watching the planes just like go straight into the World Trade Center buildings. Um, I think at first, and, I, and I'm not sure if everybody felt this way, I, being I'm not from New York, I'm from DC, that it was like, you know, are we watching a movie? Like, what are we watching? Is this for real? Is this really going on? There was like a level of like shock and disbelief. Like, I've never seen shock and disbelief like that ever in my life. I think everybody was just like just stunned that it was really going on. Um, then we're just like, you know, we're still we're still watching it just like, you know, the towers are falling. And you're looking like oh my God, like there like you can see people screaming, you see people like jumping out of the buildings, like I can't explain like how it how it could feel to be in that moment to be in New York or to even be in that building like I can't even I can't even fathom like what New Yorkers went through on that day like I mean it's so many things my oh oh my god like even like to this day to even like be talking about it it still gives me like chills because it's like it's just one of those things where it's such fin such finality and it's so scary and then you know it's just so heartbreaking and and then when um, later they announced that the Pentagon had been attacked in um, Arlington I just kinda just like I was no good at that point um, my mom works in DC and um, she works for the power company in DC so my brain automatically freaked too like you know the power company I mean there's terrorists maybe try to knock out the power company um, I called my mom and I got through and she was fine and I and I want to say I called her on a landline phone I don't think I called her on my cell phone back then I was like 2001, I mean, like, cell phones were a luxury back then. They weren't like everybody had a cell phone back then, even then. I remember I had a Nokia specifically, like a little blue Nokia with the play Snake. Everybody had that fucking phone. But, um, I remember calling my mom and I was like, check on her, see if she was okay. Um, I eventually ended up having to work that morning because every parent that worked at my job in the morning that day, um, basically never came to work. They all like scattered and got their kids. Um, and I'm basically at work in a do-rag, a wife beater, and some jeans. And I'm behind the bar, bartending like that. And at that moment, I think no one really gave a damn. I think everybody was just like, we need somebody here to support drinks to get everybody through the day. And, and just like, you know, I know you're not in uniform and that's fine. You don't have to be in uniform. Just work. Um, even the aftermath of it all when it was all done, just uh, <clears throat> just the level of depression that was over the entire country. I think some kids are not old enough to realize how depressing that time was for those few months, um, especially like all the way through Christmas and going through the holidays. It was just like really, really sad. Um, being a Washingtonian, it wasn't as bad because the Pentagon didn't result in so many death, deaths and casualties, but the people in New York, I just, I know they suffered through that. Um, I think it's, it, I think it's greater 
than losing a losing a party of skyline. I mean, it's like literally somebody's taking a knife and stabbing New York right in the center of it, and and it's just like it's just so heartbreaking that something like that happened, and and that even though like you know we've we're 12 years removed, we've caught um, Osama bin Laden and, and murdered him. Um, then Benghazi happened on 9/11 as well. Um, a year ago now, it's been a year since Benghazi happened. Um, it is one of those dates where it's just like you know, if you have a birthday today, happy birthday. But it's just such a like, it's just one of those dates where you just kind of just like, you just can't forget how it happened and how it you know all went down and how it led to wars and battles and different things. Um, I just hope that that kind of thing never happens again, um, that our country is doing all that we can to protect ourselves from that happening. Um, I really didn't want to do this video and talk about things that were controversial in light of 9-11 and, um, and, and say things that weren't, you know, respectful to people who lost their lives, so it's not the kind of video where I want to, like, you know, put my own speculations into about what really happened. It's not about that. It's about so much of still saying your prayers for people who still lost people and hoping that, you know, people who lost someone on this day years ago or even Benghazi um, are still, you know, okay. And make sure you give somebody a hug today. Maybe you give the armed forces somebody a hug, a pat in the back, for like a thank you. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just sad. Um, so, just a short video, just my thoughts and my feelings and my story, and hope you all have a great day. Peace.